Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and definitely leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. I found this story and it, it amused me greatly. It's about Terry Gilliam and Taika Waititi. And I, to be honest, I had no idea that this was going on. This is this is just blasphemy and sacrilege. They're doing a remake of Time Bandits, one of the greatest movies ever committed to celluloid and if you haven't seen it i urge you to go and just switch this rubbish off now and go and watch time bandits it's got a wealth of stars in it it was written and directed by terry gilliam back in 1981 yeah it's an old movie but that's where the gold is and that's where the treasure is simply because modern movies are just full of shite and woke bullshit yeah i said it so they're doing a new time bandits and it's helmed by taika waititi of all people that no god please no no guy who i believe destroyed the thor franchise because i thought the last two thor movies were utter shite that is one big pile of shit and you can defend them all you want i do not care they were absolute cack and thor love and thunder was just like just a shit cake as far as i'm concerned keep the man away from movies because he's got no idea terry gilliam's been in the trade now since 1968 he's been doing it for 55 years so he knows i think he knows what he's doing there's not a lot of people take him hugely seriously he's a very he's a visionary he's very creative and the movies and ideas that he comes up with i'm gonna just gonna say that they are not really mainstream but they are so visually stunning and yeah terry gilliam he's, he's he really is something else so he's executive producing this, it's a TV series, Time Bandits. I'm going to go through this and we'll get into it because it's just... Terry Gilliam walked off the set of Taika Waititi's Time Bandits and I can 100% believe that because I know what kind of guy he is because if you watch a documentary called Lost in La Mancha, it's about his movie project that he's been trying to get off the ground since he was born about Don Quixote, the life and times of Don Quixote or whatever it was. And that documentary, I've never ever in my life seen a man with so much bad luck. Watch that documentary because it's 100% worth watching. Just every single thing goes against him when he's, he's trying to get money to get it off the ground and then there's people pulling out and then at one at one point the set is washed away by a fucking tidal wave in the middle of a desert. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm not kidding you. So the guy's had no luck, but he's, he's I consider him like genius level. So Taika Waititi is currently in New Zealand directing the first three episodes of his Apple series, an adaptation of Time Bandits. This is an ambitious project that could easily go wrong. Terry Gilliam, the 1981 movie's director, had perfectly balanced that fine line between humour and drama. And if you go and watch Time Bandits, you'll see what it means. It's absolutely... It's like me and my mates used to watch it back in the day and like we probably wore the VHS tape out that we had. We watched it that many times. We even thought that there was some truth to it and that you could find portals to, <laughs> to do time travel and shit. I'm not kidding. Can you remember Ray? Can you remember me and you going down to the library <laughs> to look for time charts? <laughs> oh, what a movie, man. Uh, Gilliam, who has an executive producer credit on the Apple series, decided to visit the New Zealand set last month. I had a book and burnt the place down. If I was him. Sorry. Uh, the cast and crew soon realised just how irritated Gilliam was. <laughs> oh, sorry, calm down. By what, we're, by, <laughs> by what he was saying, he wasn't happy. He kept groaning and making remarks. One crew member told me... <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Tiger, you bellend. Why why are there no small people in this show? It, honestly, it, oh, yeah, we'll get into that as well. Gilliam not being a Tiger YT fan isn't a total shocker. It probably doesn't help that Gilliam had absolutely zero creative input when it comes to the new series. Why? Why? Oh, oh, that's right. You're making it to fit with the modern world. Is that what you're doing? 
fuck off, man. Anyway, a fact of the matter is that these two filmmakers have different styles of comedy, both tonally and thematically. Why Titi's comedy is more infantile? Yeah, because he's a fucking massive child and an idiot. You typical fucking idiot! That was your job, you fucking moron! You cretin! You're a fuckhead! That's what you are! A fucking shithead! Gilliams is more adult. It veers on the cheek. He's satirical, but he knows what he's doing. He's worked with Monty Python, for God's sake. If, if you haven't got a sense of humour after watching Monty Python, then you're obviously not funny. We don't know what funny is. Gilliam is the director of such classics as Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Brazil, 12 Monkeys, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and he's currently looking for funding on a new project. According to Gilliam, the premise of his upcoming new film would involve God wanting to wipe out humanity. What a great idea, because he's so disappointed by what has gone down on planet Earth, only for Satan to convince God to create a new Adam and Eve to create a new improved humanity. Now, if that's not making a movie that reflects the modern society, I don't know what is. But anyway, he, he obviously went mental on set and just walked off and said, yeah, massive pile of shite. In this comments, or I don't know, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, here's a shill for you. Uh, it says, actually, Gillian praised George O. Robert back in the day. Yeah, but apparently George O. Robert's really good. I haven't seen it myself, so I can't comment, but I'll, I'll give him that one. It's got high appraisal. Supposedly very good. Wow, this is the first time I'm hearing of this, but Time Bandits without dwarfs, without dwarfs, is like Willow without Warwick Davis. You, you can't really compare Willow with... No, because Willow was a big bag of shite as well. It wasn't even Willow. It was without Warwick Davis, because he wasn't even in it. Uh, Gilliam is the goat. He's got to be, hasn't he? 55 years in the industry. Are you shitting me or what? Waititi is a hack. Brazil is one of the greatest films of all time. I find Waititi very, I find Waititi very off-putting. So do I, to be honest. Hardly a hack. They are different. There's room for both. People used to find Monty Python off-putting too. I knobheads. Ill-tempered old people. Ill-tempered old people who didn't understand irreverence or surrealism. Are you fucking kidding me? It was the most irreverent surreal TV show on the fucking planet, man. You dick. What are you on about? Nobody found Monty Python off-putting. They got the humour or didn't. Dumb people typically didn't. Oh, fair crack. You're talking to and about Gilliam fans and you think we don't understand surrealism. I don't think you understand Gilliam. I don't think you understand anything only gilliam could get de niro to play an important but supporting role there you go thor love and thunder was absolutely awful 100 percent. it was a bag of cack never understood what the nerd press saw in this annoying way because they're just a bunch of shills they're just looking for the free press pass to the next movie so they can get in for free and then see how fucking great it is even though if, just utter cack. Anyway, that's my rant for the morning. Terry Gilliam thought Taika Waititi was a knobhead. And apparently there's no small people. You can't have a Time Bandits movie without small people. Because that's what it was centred around. So what you're doing now, you, are you discounting small people? Or dwarfs as they were called back in the day. Are you discounting that group of people from movies now? Because people's going to be offended on their behalf. Are you out of your fucking mind? It was the same with Peter Dinklage, who is a small person, and said that Snow White was fucking offensive and got all seven people that was cast in the Disney live-action remake, got them all fucking sacked, and they just binned the project? You stupid little asshole! What a fucking bell end! Yeah, let's fight for small people's rights. Don't work for them because they're exploiting you. <laughs> just fuck off, man. Anyway. Uh, that's all about <laughs> that's all I've got to say on that subject I think it's going to be a massive pile of cack let me know what you think in the comments down below honestly take away take the time man. It's just fucking take me take me take me god now please thanks for watching bye bye now